Steve Harrington is part of the Stranger Things chapter in Dead by Daylight. His three unique perks are Babysitter, Camaraderie, and Second Wind. The teachable versions of these perks appear on his bloodweb at levels 30, 35, and 40. Babysitter. When you unhook a survivor, the unhooked survivor leaves no scratch marks or blood trail for the next 4, 6, or 8 seconds. You see the killer's aura and the killer sees your aura for 4 seconds. Camaraderie. While you're on the hook in the struggle phase, camaraderie activates. If another survivor is within 16 meters from you while camaraderie is activated, the hook timer is paused for 26, 30, or 34 seconds. You can tell this perk is active by looking in your perks in the bottom right corner and it will have that timer effect on it. Additionally, on the survivor's side, you can tell the other survivor has camaraderie because the bar under their name will start glowing red to indicate that their struggle phase timer is paused. Be aware though that you must continue to press spacebar in order to prevent yourself from dying. Just because it says it pauses the struggle timer does not mean that you no longer have to press spacebar. You will still be sacrificed if you stop pressing spacebar when this perk is active. And finally, second wind. When you have healed other survivors for the equivalent of one health state, Second Wind activates. If you are already afflicted with the Broken Stas effect, Second Wind does not activate. While Second Wind is activated, the next time you are unhooked or you unhook yourself, you are affected by the Broken Stas effect. After a total duration of 34, 32, or 30 seconds, Second Wind automatically heals you from injured to healthy. Second Wind deactivates once you become healthy, or if you are put into the dying state before Second Wind successfully triggers. You lose the Broken Stas effect. Second Wind can be activated a maximum of two times because you can only be hooked twice and remain alive. I have found though that healing someone else with a med kit does not count towards the progress of healing someone for Second Wind. So, if you are using this perk, make sure you don't heal other people with a med kit, or else you will never get Second Wind activated. One final thing about Second Wind is that the healing progress you need to do in order to activate it does not have to be done all in one go. You can get it from healing multiple survivors partially. You just have to heal other survivors enough to equal one full health state of healing done. For example, if you heal a injured survivor 50% of the way, and then do 50% heal progress on a survivor in the dying state, Second Wind will still activate. And those are Steve Harrington's three unique perks. I hope this video helped you out, and if you have any additional questions, comment below and I will help you out. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, good luck out there in the fog, and see you next time.